What's up, everybody? Afro Joe here, Ten Like a TA is again. I guess y'all heard that Amanda Knox might be extradited back to Italy, and I think it's bullshit because I already did a video about this when the first time she got took in the trial and found out that the judge was on trial too for a case and how the evidence was contaminated by the Italy police and they actually found the real killer who killed the, the victim in the case I can't remember the girl's name I'm apologizing because I can't remember her name please forgive me because it was so long ago but I'm going to say victim but they found the killer who killed the victim and he's spending time in prison he's spending life in prison for murder and when they found that Amanda Knox and her boyfriend back then was innocent she was free to go and it's awfully funny that she's been over here almost a year and didn't have to worry about being extradited back to Italy for nothing then now they sitting there saying they're gonna do extradite, extradite her back to retry her as retry her in the case again I'm sitting there questioning I was like cause the first time I asked I was like I hope they got the if they got the double, je, double jeopardy law then if they got the double jeopardy law they cannot charge her for murder again but like I'm asking I'm gonna say again, if they got if they don't got if they got the double jeopardy law over there why try to extradite her back over there for what reason you caught the criminal who committed the murder but they want to extradite her back over there for some odd reason why if the evidence has been contaminated but they found enough evidence to convict the other person the real murderer and he's been in life in prison why mess with her and it's funny that they're extraditing her back but, but I don't know if they're I haven't heard if they're going to extra, extradite her ex-boyfriend and it's so silly and so stupid that they're doing this now oh we're going to extradite her back here and, and charge her for murder again under what law under what law if they got uh, for real if you live in Italy and if there and you tell me there is a double jeopardy law in place then that means she cannot be extradited back to Italy for a murder charge she cannot but it's retarded that this girl is going through this again because of what why we open up the file even though you caught the criminal but it's so silly man it, about this and 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 the news the people saying it, some of the people saying on the media and the paper and all like this and they saying the reason why she's been extradited back to Italy is because she's too pretty doesn't matter if you're pretty doesn't matter if you're ugly dog Chapman had a bounty that ran to Mexico and he went to Mexico and there's a law in Mexico saying there is no bounty hunting in Mexico you cannot go down to Mexico bounty hunting because it's against the law so when he went down and arrested a guy that raped and murdered I think it was rape I think and murder I, I forgot what was the crime but he went down there to get the criminal him his son and his friend Tim and he when they went down there and arrested him they the police arrested them for bounty hunting in a foreign land which bounty hunting is against the law so they spent time in jail that was prosecuted I think and they went back home but but after they did their time they were extradited back to Mexico on the same crime bounty hunting and had to do house arrest see I don't get it 
<laughs> I don't get it that this girl's been extradited for a crime after she's been cleared of it, even though they caught the criminal already. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. It's 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 fucking retarded. Like I'm like I I'm just discombobulated. Discombobulated. <laughs> you know, I think they're funny, but y'all probably gonna sit up there and say, Joe, you don't know what you're talking about. Neither do you. But it's like this. It's retarded to recharge a person for a crime after they've been cleared uh, of all charges. You're charging a person, that means double jeopardy. That means that the crime cannot stick. And it makes no sense. He just so fucking started that this is going on because of what? It still makes me question on why do why do people want to? Why does this country want to do this? What evidence do they have on her? They even they didn't say what kind of evidence they have on this girl they didn't because if you remember in the case the girl was the the victim was dead and they didn't find no fingerprints on the weapon that connects Amanda Knox and her pre her boyfriend at the time to the murder they didn't find no evidence connecting them and she spent what a year, like a year or a few months in prison, or like a year, year, two years in prison, something like that. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> and only thing they found her evidence on, they they found fingerprints, Amanda Knox fingerprints on a knife, but on the knife that they found her fingerprints on, on the blade, only thing they found on it was bread residue bread residue and that was it bread residue then you got this uh, 35 year old man that the, the, the murderer that this this 35 year old black man chilling with college students it, it ought to make you question why was a 35-year-old black man hanging around a bunch of college college students in Italy? Nobody never questioned it. Like, people questioned it, but nobody, for, nobody, people forgot about it, in a way. You still got to think about it. Why was a 35-year-old black man hanging around a bunch of college students? Unless if he was up to no good. He's not a, he's not a student. He's not a teacher. He didn't work with none of them, so why was he hanging around these students, these college students? But they, but it, 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 it's mind-boggling to figure out why would they want to recharge her for a case that she's been acquitted of. It, it still makes you question that. Makes you, makes you wonder that. It still makes you wonder because I'm still questioning. I'm still questioning, like, do they have the double jeopardy law? Do they? I I wonder, do they have the double jeopardy law in Italy? If they do, then they have no case. And that double jeopardy law is that double jeopardy law. For some people that don't know what what the fuck is the double jeopardy law. A double jeopardy law is where if you've been acquitted of a of a crime, they cannot retry you again. If so, then they will just fall apart and be thrown out because you're retrying a person for a crime they didn't commit. If it's a different crime, yeah, you could charge them for that other crime, but you cannot charge them for the same crime. They the this if she killed this if they if she was acquitted of killing this girl. She cannot be acquitted of killing. She cannot be. If she was acquitted of killing this girl, they cannot retry her in that case. 
That's what I'm saying. That's used for, uh, for example. But it, that, that's one thing y'all gotta. That's one thing. And it just makes you wonder why is she getting. Why are they trying to charge her with murder again after she's been acquitted? of this crime that's, a, that's one thing is people need to understand need to try to figure out and I think I think the F, I think the US needs to do some investigation of themselves it's like why is she's been charged for a crime that she's been acquitted of because if that happens where the US government is investigating why they're doing this and all I can they can take action it's like well you cannot try to they well that's what can that's what can happen the US can invest I think the US can investigate that kind of line of shit because it has happened where there was a guy that moved to uh, <laughs> I think uh, to Mexico I think to Brazil he moved to Brazil and he's been charged with the murder but he was two hours away. Like what happened was this guy was with this girl. And he loved this girl, and they broke up of differences. And she found her another boyfriend. But he had a business to run. He was making running the paper. So what happened was the guy was two hours away from the crime scenes there was witnesses there was uh what was it the the the, the bings after the cell phone towers showing that he was two hours away but he was still charged with murder the judge didn't want to hear from the witnesses the judge threw the uh, pings of the cell, cell phone towers out but it only took the word of a criminal there was a li a pathological liar and a thief and he, they, the judge took the word of a liar and a thief. <laughs> but it makes you question. Like you gotta make, you gotta question it. You probably saying, "Joe, you sound like a broken record." No, but you gotta think about this shit. If you don't think about what's really going on, it's like, why are they doing this? And he said, "Well, I don't give a fuck. She's going back to Italy and going to be tried for. Who gives a fuck?" But you gotta realize it could be your child. It can be your mama. It can be your sister. It could be your aunt, your cousin, your niece. You don't know, because it could have been somebody in your family getting charged for this shit. And you just don't know. <laughs> but that's what I had to say on about this Metal Knox. I think they're doing it because they got nothing else to do. They know they caught the right guy for, like, they, well, they caught the right guy for the, for the crime. But for to them to go after the girl that's been acquitted of the murder case, I think it's stupid just to do it again. But ladies and gentlemen, this has been Afro Joe Ten. I can see is again. Tell me what you think about this about this case. Do you think that she should be tried again for a crime that she's been acquitted of? Do you think she's innocent? She's guilty? Or was the media exaggerating about the reason why they're doing this because she's pretty think about it and that's how it is for me I still think it's a bunch of bullshit and they just doing this for fun and for the no I'm gonna say this for the victim family I still say fuck you you probably saying that's wrong. How can you say that to the family? The reason why I'm saying this to his family is because it was they, because I said like this. Because I actually asked, why would you take a person that's been acquitted of a of the murder case to court to sue? And it makes no sense. Somebody told me why because oh, just because they could they came. Some I forgot what it was, and I still thought it was stupid. I just, I just didn't think okay it was right to do. I still think the victim's family should have sued the courts instead of suing 
they sued the police uh, department. Now, one thing is, in this case, the man in this case, they found out that black guy, the 30 year old black guy that did it, <laughs> they should have sued the police officers, the police department, for contaminating evidence, for tampering with evidence, messing up the whole, uh, whole process. You don't, because uh, to me, I should, you should, they should never sue. I'm trying to sue Amanda Knox for what reason? If she's been acquitted, should have sued the sued the courts and the police. Not this person has been acquitted. Cause you ain't get you can't look. You can't get blood from maternal. You can't get blood from maternal. And that's how it is. And this has been Afro Joe Ten like the T I is. Follow me on Tumblr. Follow me on Twitter at Afro Joe the Wookie. Follow me on Tumblr. Subscribe to my channel, Cillo Junior Two and Cillo Junior Three. And I and tell me what you think about this. Do you think she's guilty, not, or they just bullshit? Tell me what you think. Peace, love, and Afro Greece.